Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And, uh, <clears throat> move that out of the way. <coughs> Today, um, you can see um, I've got a different machine sitting here. That's actually a, a um, Orbitec Defender, otherwise known as a Easy Glide tankless wheels down orbital machine standard orbit orbit and I've had it for 10 years and once in a while I think I should use it so I pull it out start using it and on a job and within 10-15 minutes I put it back in the van because this is better <laughs> for lots of reasons oh. Center. Here, let's try that again. Um, anyway, um, <coughs> my main reason for preferring the uh, rotary for any of these close quarter type of jobs and houses is the maneuverability. The uh, simplicity of its operation, and um, it just takes no effort to maneuver the machine, as you can see. Turn it, put that up a bit, anyway. Um, and um, I do have orbital machines. That's one of them. <coughs> I use the uh, CX17 or Brute for almost all of my commercial like hallways of condos and whatnot. <coughs> oh, tickle. <coughs> and um, but for any of this close quarter kind of work, which this is I'm doing a music uh, a music school and all these little small little studios are kind of crampy. And I did uh, the small administration office and one of the studios with the with the uh, Orbitec machine, and and then I immediately <laughs> like I gotta get my rotary. This is ridiculous. And one of the other reasons this is so handy is because I don't have to pre-spray, other than you know spots, occasional spots and stains and whatnot. Um, the tank feeds down and I'm able to control very precisely how much I apply. Oop, there we go. I'm just gonna, oop, get rid of that. And um, the control of the solution onto the carpet is so much better with the uh, the uh, rotary with the uh, tank on it. And it saves time because uh, having to stop and spray the carpet in a few minutes uh, adds the time to do the job. So anyway, we're near the end. <coughs> <coughs> we have this, um, <coughs> uh, the um, hallway here to finish and then two more studios. And this studio on the right is uh, the most stained. So let's see we get in there how well we do. And one of the objections to uh, the rotary machine is that it doesn't clean as well as the orbital. But um, oh, I seem to be drooping here. There we go. And we'll see what happens here. So there's a couple of spots right there. I just went over them and they are gone. You can't beat that. So we did pre-vacuum all the carpet and um, I've Is that is it? Is that it Steve? Okay. Gotta change my plug. So we've got some uh, a grouping of um, spots over here.
Oh, Steve, there's one right here. Right here. Right there. Oh, okay. Put it over top of the chair. So it doesn't fall out. Okay, so let's see um, just how well this will work. I'm gonna put my power cord in here. Don't want to be pulling it around the door jam. So I'll collect it up behind me here. Pretty much. <clears throat> forward overlapping passes spot right there spot gone Okay, so let's see how we do with uh, this grouping of spots. They look kind of maybe grease, I don't know. Maybe someone had something on their feet when they were doing their piano lessons. This is uh, carpet tile. Time. Don't need to rush it with the agitation. Do its thing. I'm using a, a cotton a pad, a set pad, soil extraction transfer technology pad, and uh, you can see the stains come out. And uh, just go back over there one more time. I think I see something. to get over underneath this piano bench. And uh, done this <coughs> in the studio. We'll go turn around, go into the... Uh, I'm gonna hop over that wire, but I'm gonna move it. Spots in here too. Not as bad as the other one. And I almost always like to go forward. Always, but mostly working away from my power source. So there's a little bit of staining over here.
again I like to have the precision of applying exactly how much solution I want whereas when I pre-spray which I was doing when I was using the uh, Orbitec upstairs of course I had to spray the whole carpet but um, I don't have the precision of control like I do with this way, this way of doing it with the tank which is why I prefer the rotary with the tank I've done it the other way years ago and I got away from that pretty quick I'll move these to bench over there the chair over there nearly done this is about a six or seven hundred dollar job so we're nearly at close to 11 o'clock so a couple of hours a couple more jobs to do residential ones actually we're doing leather next maybe I'll video that just got my new cleaning head for my uh, upholstery cleaning machine and uh, I'll told that cleaning head which is just part of the machine came to just over three thousand dollars it is extremely expensive equipment. It's over about seven thousand to buy it all told new in Canada. <laughs> but nothing like it, so I think I'm not sure what I'm seeing right there. Let's just try um get a spotter towel here. We get here. I'm not. Oh. Yeah. A little bit of something right there. It's gone now. Good. And we'll just work our way out of here. And we got all the stains out of this carpet. And we've cleaned this place, I think this is our fourth or fifth time. But we go once a year. And they're always happy to have us do it because when we clean it, they don't have to be concerned about the mo moisture and the, all this, with all the pianos and other instruments that are in here. Because it dries within the hour. And it cleans up really well. And uh, we're in and out within a couple hours and they can start putting everything back together and ready for the new season. Because they shut down for a, a little bit in the summer. Nearly at the end here. And another great job. Easy to do. Anyway, and there we go.